Maybe I'm too stupid. Fine, then maybe there is something I can say. And I want to apologize for this story before I begin. Have you ever heard of a little town called St. Olaf? <laughs> no. Perfect. Now, as it was told to me, and I have to admit that I wasn't listening that closely, uh, there was this farmer named Niels Niblung, and he had a pig named Brunhilde, and she won all the blue ribbons at all the county fairs. Well, Niels also had a daughter named Fricka, and she won red ribbons, usually as runner-up to the pig. <laughs> Does this story have a point? <laughs> you asked that at just the right time. Anyway, one April, Niels decided to breed Brunhilde. That's the pig, not the daughter. And he chose April because that's when pigs are at their most beautiful and desirable. Unfortunately, so was Fricka. So while Brunhilde and the pig were doing their thing, Fricka and the local pig breeder were doing theirs. God, I hope I got the names right. Anyway, when Niels heard about it, he banished Fricka from his house and his life forever. So? So? After a while, he lost interest in the pig's company, and uh, he ate her. <laughs> and he died St. Olaf's loneliest man. Is that the end of the story? God, I hope so. 